Okay? You ready? Okay, it's 6.30. I'll call the meeting in order. Please join me. Scheduled speaker, Brad Williams. Forestry Equipment Committee, you want to talk about? Thank you, sir. Uh, I was just more want to be sure I got on the agenda as Forestry Ward, and I was not expecting to be a featured speaker this evening. Appreciate it, gentlemen. Nice news, Brad. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. What? We we'll looked at that one too close. <laughs> uh, the town. Uh, Approved a very generous forestry budget this year, which is greatly appreciated. A lot of it is based on last year's fire and the realization of what it could cost us. But I understand, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make town meeting. I also understand there was some commentary at town meeting about the possibility of forming a citizens committee to, should we say, assist in the selection and purchasing of the equipment. Or at least that was my understanding. Uh, my thought on is it's not necessary whatsoever. Uh, the decisions, uh, the choices will be made between myself and my four deputy wardens. We'll have a meeting and go over what we think is appropriate to purchase, and it will be submitted to you, gentlemen. Uh, and that's the way precisely it operates. Any questions, comments, concerns? Just the comments at the town meeting. The town didn't like that approach. Okay. The town didn't like that approach. Okay. So they suggested we have a committee to look at the plan and what was being purchased. Okay. Uh, I guess my next question is, uh, we say the town didn't like it, just out of curiosity. Was it a large majority that voiced that or is it a small group? You can watch the tape, it doesn't matter. That's what, you know, no, one, no one argued against it. Okay. So that was discussion there. Okay. I'll leave it up to you, gentlemen, but as I say, it's a uh, committee that I'm not in favor of. And if people really want to form committees, I think they need to look at the larger items that are in the budget. Uh, the biggest item we have is the highway budget. Uh, maybe that needs to be considered. Uh, it was budgeted for $80,000 for services last year and ran up to be 103000 that concerns me a lot more than a $7,500 forestry budget does. That's the case. Yes. So the town approved a definitive amount for a clerk, correct? Correct, $7,500. Operating expenses, as well as another 10000 capital reserve. Okay. Um, well, you guys know what's required to do this job. Yes. So you want to get together as a team and decide what items need to be purchased. Correct. And, and the town wants to have a committee. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think a lot of people are qualified to be on a committee to make decisions like that. But perhaps they'd be satisfied if, as once you guys get the list of what you intend to purchase, <laughs> that you have a presentation or a justification to the people that want to see that and educate them, help them by telling them, we, we uh, recommend that we get this, 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 and this is why. Funny you should, I appreciate that, Eric. Funny you should mention that. That's just to get people into the loop. Yeah. I have no that, problem with that whatsoever. That may satisfy the faction of people that want to have a committee. These are the current proposed purchases that need to be refined a little bit more. Madam Secretary. Or Assistant, excuse me. Uh, these were the discussions that came up during the budget hearing. Uh, 
some of the items I was putting off a little further. And it was a suggestion by the board that some of the larger items be purchased in the, due to the need of that. And so that's what we're looking at. Uh, as I said, it still has to be refined with the deputies. We need to sit down and go over it. And now one of my concerns is fire seasons quickly approaching and starting tomorrow, burn permits will be required. Uh, the snow is going pretty quickly. Spring is when we have, do have a high fire danger. It's already up to a class two day. My anticipation was purchasing this, or sending out purchase orders, which is another question, how I acquire purchase orders. Uh, if not by the end of this week, I'm gone next week. Uh, definitely making the purchases the week after, so we get the equipment and materials here as soon as possible. I would think we should advertise that you want to present this to a committee or the town and let people know that this is what you want to spend your money on. And not just the three of us, but open it up and say we're going to have a presentation and this is what you have recommended and how we're going to use it. Okay. Um, they wanted a committee. Perhaps, I, I was just suggesting perhaps a presentation, open it up, would satisfy that. That's fine. Because I, 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 I think it's that you guys do the research and um, know, know what has to be purchased. And I don't think a committee is going to help you on that. No, not at all. But openness and getting it up in front of anybody that is interested. <coughs> is, have no problem whatsoever right. with presenting what we're going to purchase. That would, I, think, yeah. I think that would satisfy, that would satisfy me. I, Okay. I, Once you refine the list, I said we make it an agenda item. Uh, is you going to speak like you are right now, and we have the list out here like this, and sure. people can weigh in on it. But ultimately, it's us three that are going to, you know, approve the expenditures. And so you know, but as long as there's openness and there's people that are hearing what's going on, there's a plan and there's an understanding. Then maybe mm -hmm. this is the best way to go. Because I'm going to wreck a committee of a bunch of people who don't know anything about forest fighting. You know, mm -hmm. great. <laughs> That's. That's my concern, is I have no problem educating. I'd be very happy to educate folks as to what's needed. We also have a relative time frame we're working with, uh, which I want to keep in mind. Uh, yeah, we can ask Mary Lou how to purchase this stuff, because I'm not sure about the POs, and you know, if it's just going to be pre pre cutting checks or getting billed, you know, or how it's going to work. So. The easiest is, if possible, to do purchase orders that way to freighten. Because when you make the purchase, you know, sure what freight and so forth will be. Yeah, we'll talk to Mary Lou about that. I'm sure we can figure that out. I think when you come to talk to us about the details of this, you talk about the plan and how you're going to use this. I hit some feedback about the pump. Mm -hmm. um, the last fire we had, the pump pumps were used very effectively in the woods. Yes. How are we going to get the pump in there? You don't uh -huh. have to answer me now, but there are questions that are going to come up, like, how do we get a pump in the woods when it takes a half hour to get back there on an ATV? It's 35 pounds. You can either carry it on the ATV or you can put it on the backpack and carry it in. All right. So those are going to be types of questions I think yeah. you should be talking about how we're going to use the equipment in the future. No problems. Okay, so what are we going to do this? Next meeting. Okay. Time is of the essence. The next meeting is two weeks from now. You say you're not going to be here in two weeks, though? I'm um, going uh, next week. I'll be here in two weeks. Oh, okay, good. good. Just because I need to get up on my schedule. That's okay, cool. that works out. Okay. I wanted to put some special <coughs> notices out that this is going to take place. Sure. Okay. Uh, no problem. I told you about five minutes just while I'm up here. before the meeting. Hmm? Let's have it before the meeting. Let's set it up as a presentation. Sure. We don't make any. Yeah, we don't have to make any decisions. Yeah, we can have that before the meeting. Well, this is going to. This is the intention is to satisfy people that want a committee. Well, want want to know what's going on. They, they they have no idea what this stuff is. And just put this in light. This is the equipment. This is what we're doing. All right. Okay. Uh, All right. I am hoping and anticipating a positive decision by a gentleman that same night. I don't want to have to push it off another two weeks. That's not going to happen. So that's what I'm looking for. Uh, 
I also mentioned five permits that are required starting tomorrow. And the forestry truck will be in service, uh, should be Thursday. So that's also the warning truck. Before the meeting, I'll talk to Mary a little about the POs and all that stuff, so we at least get that that moving and you'll be ready for the two weeks from now. Yep. Move. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Great. Yeah. Anything else? Supplier, suppliers for the vendors and information that would be needed for the POs if you yes. expect this to be expedited. That I will. Okay. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We've got a bunch of meeting minutes. Six. That was down in conflict with the auditing company. <coughs> I attended by phone, but I, so I guess the only thing was the attendance. I was by phone, right? Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Well, it's noted in the body, but so let's, that's good enough. Now. Well, we can add. Per, would you please add attendance? Brian was here by phone. Mm -hmm. He attended by phone. All right, so I make a motion to accept the March 6 minutes as drafted. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now we go to the 18th, which was... It was a Saturday meeting, right? Yes, that was our meeting before the town meeting. I just want to comment on all these drafted ones. Especially this one, Brian. Okay. I make a motion to accept the March 18th minutes as drafted. And I'll second that. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep. And then the 28th of March. I'll make a motion that we accept these meeting minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Any public comment? Yes. <coughs> I do have a comment. Yes, sir. More of a question. Effingham is dealing with uh, a new procurement policy, and I was wondering, does Brookfield have one of those types of policies? Um, if we're not going to have a committee, I just wanted to know what procedure we're going to use, if we have something established, if we are going to purchase items for the fire department. Generally what we do is we go out and we try to get, not bids, but proposal from two or three vendors to make sure we get a fair price. Um, and then based upon the feedback we get from those vendors and what their proposal is, we make a decision. Just to recap, the decision was made by the town via a warrant article to purchase this equipment, correct? No, the, the warrant article was to authorize the expenditure of money. For equipment, without being specific on what equipment. But it was voted by the town to yes. do that. It was understood and it was a positive vote. Yes. If that was a positive vote, why do we have to wait until next meeting? Is it just to review that list? Well, at, at the end of the meeting, there was a discussion from the floor that people wanted to understand what the plan was and where the, where the money was going specifically. And I think that's what we're reacting to. And how is that going to be accomplished? We're, we're going to have a meeting before the next meeting, invite people to attend, and have a presentation on, on what the plan is and what the equipment is and where it's going to be used. I mean, I just wanted you to say that. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's... Uh, Excuse me, yes. sir, to follow up to Ed's question. Yes. 
Um, so he asked if there were any procurement policies in place, and you said that generally there's people want to get two to three vendors. Um, and all my time sitting here in the audience, I don't remember anybody else ever talking about purchase orders. So, um, in terms of other other town employees making purchases, so. Could you could you expand just a, just briefly on what has to come before the board on a day to day basis? I, I'm, I guess I'm just curious. And, or it, I guess the first question would be: Do we have written procurement procedures? No. Thank you. Okay. So what do we really what so do we when, do when, on an ongoing basis, when we just go out, operationally? When we go out for him some work done, whether it's a roof on a building or whether it's a painting job or whatever, we'll meet with two or three vendors. Tradesmen ask for their recommendations, their proposal as to what should be done, mm -hmm. and then based upon what we hear, we make a decision as to which vendor we go with. Now, if it's for material in the office, generally it's not that expensive. I mean, it, we don't spend that kind of money for office equipment, so we'll buy stuff from Staples or I mean, what's the last big expenditure we had? We computers. Com so we computers. Just went over computer and that was two thousand that was two thousand dollars. Okay. So generally we don't buy large pieces of equipment that way. Okay. It's generally contracts or for work around <laughs> the facility. So Brad's comment about purchase order is not it's not a it, that's his terminology and not the town's or, or well, I've never cut a purchase order. Okay. That's why I said very clearly, I, we have to talk to Mary Lou, is we've never done purchase orders. Okay. So I have to see if we even have that ability. Um, or will we have to prepay and get stuff shipped? I don't know. Okay. So that's why I, I, I'm total ignorance. I'm not sure how I we will really, really, we'll okay. handle purchase orders. Okay. Thank you. Um, when I bought stuff, people have asked for purchase orders. I said we don't use them because we never have. And Occasionally, when I have to, most people will extend credit to the town. I um, haven't had a problem, and then uh, there were there was one time when we when I bought the spray equipment, I think, that I had to have a check beforehand, and they just sent me a bill for what what I wanted, <coughs> and I submitted the bill, and then they sent it as soon as they got the check. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Okay. See what we can do. Thank you. So I want to jump ahead to new business and talk about the organization of the board and our committees for this coming year. We usually do that right after the town meeting after we get new members. So <coughs> how do we want to do that this year, folks? Do we have a list of folks? What has to be filled and covered? Well, or is it small enough that we can just talk about? Well, we we talk about it, but <coughs> the first question is, who's going to be the chair next year? <laughs> we could do like we historically done, and I would move in the chair. But no, wait a minute, we're out of whack because Ed, oh, Bill. Bill, Bill didn't oh, Bill pass last year. Right. So you went twice, right? Well, I went once, you know, but I could be a candidate. So we'd be on the site. So why don't you stay on his chair for another year? So if you if don't had Bill not passed, you would be chair this year. Mm -hmm. So continue on. Got to make a motion. Um, so you guys do with it. I don't. I don't want to stick with that. Sir. We got. To, we got to get back to base. I'll make a motion that Zach will be chair for 2017. Zach, put us back in sequence. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now vice chair. What's, um, what's the sequence? Are we got a sequence on that too. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I'll technically, I'd be vice chair because I'd be chair next year. So. So I'll make a motion that Brian's the vice chair this coming year. Second. All in favor. All right. All right. Uh, committees. Now we had a whole list of committees where we we attend the various organizational meetings that the committees as committees have their meetings. Right. Um, I, I would propose that Bill had a list of them. You just fill those slots if you like. Or do you want to go through and take a look at them all? You're new to this, so you can. I looked at what um, what what other committees. Okay, Mola, your planning board, heritage, 
Cemetery. So I have Brian marked down for Heritage. Rich yes. for Planning Board. Um, who had Cemetery Trustees? Phil. Phil. And how about Conservation? Zach. <coughs> Um, does anybody have ZBA? Bill. Okay. And then um, we had talked about, Rich and I had talked about um, the trustees not having the selectmen's, the trustees of the trust funds. So I don't know I if think you guys wanted to talk about that. I think we should have representation on that one. I don't mind doing trustees or ZBA, it was about to me. Bill had. CBA and Bill had cemetery trustees and CBA. Brian, did you have something in addition to heritage? I had the highway committee, but we typically uh, we disbanded that committee, and it's more or less just a an open meeting to discuss roads. Okay. So I, I more or less work with Ed on that, and we we have an open public meeting. But okay. I think I gave a cemetery trustee. Do you know how that set up downtown? Because I know I was appointed, but I wasn't elected at, at the election. If I was the selectman's rep, I needed not the cemetery trustee, I think. I wasn't aware that you were appointed. <coughs> Usually the appointment is only until the next elections. So you, it should have been up for election this time. I didn't see anything on the ballot. No, it wasn't. So I think we need a cemetery trustee. Well, there are only two now then. If you're not, there's only two. So what we have to do is check with Virginia to see whether it was an appointment. If it was an appointment, it was for a fixed term of the person you were appointed for. Generally, when it's when it's appointed for an elected position, it's only until the, the election. next election. Yeah, but that's an I didn't realize the position. Appointed. But I don't know whether you were elected. <coughs> Remember, you were elected. A couple I, was, years I was not really elected, it's elected it's as a lawyer. Yeah. So. It says in a good book. It says elected. It says elected and your expiration is 2019. And your, it expires in 2019. Huh. Well, it was a landslide that year. It stuck <laughs> right in. That would have been last year. Were you on the ballot last year? I, I honestly don't remember. That's, that's <laughs> Craig put me on. You're right. <laughs> well, I just, I'm just, if I, if I follow and take over what Bill did. Yeah. That would put a conflict on the Cemetery Commission. No, I don't think so. You're allowed to do both. On you the it's not a land use board, so you can do both. I can be the selectman's rep and... Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's good. It's it's good. Good. I want to make it easy there. Okay, you want to do... Who wants to do the trustees of the trust fund? I'll take it. I'll take the CBA. Okay. Do you have a little Lori? Did you end up keeping 
housekeeping cemetery trustee? I think so. Okay, so I have you with the cemetery trustees and the planning board. I have Brian with Heritage and trustees of the trust fund. No, ZBA. Rich is going to take the trust. You're going to take the trust fund. And are you going to keep conservation? Sure. Conservation trust. should make a motion on the planning board because he's going to be a voting member of the planning board. So I'll make a motion that Rick Sorette be the uh, ex officio member of the planning board. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That should be a motion. Otherwise we can get in trouble with the time to vote at the planning board. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, the treasurer is ill tonight. We have some bills to go over. We can do those later. We have from the treasurer two requests that we, she brought to us last week. Uh, delegation of deposit authority, and that looked pretty standard. That's for Virginia, Diana, Jennifer, and Rose to make deposits of funds to our bank accounts. We looked at that for the past two weeks. I'll sign this. Well, I'll make a motion that we approve the delegation of deposit authority. I'll second that. All there? All right. All right. All right. So we're going to do that one. <coughs> can you can sign that, please. And we'll put that in her box. Mary Lou Thomas delegation of reconciliation. <coughs> she had proposed that we hire an employee to reconcile the books. Uh, we made one modification to her proposed document, and that is that the information about reconciliation go to the town treasurer and to the board of selectmen. Any other comments on that? Make a motion that we accept this. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Mr. Chairman? Yep. This is a new position that's being created? Yes. Was it funded in the budget? We found the funding out of the treasurer's expense, yes. It shouldn't be very costly at all. I mean, it's quite a thing. Hi, Danny. Um. The, excuse me just for a second. I know that you've just taken your vote, and uh, I can wait until the end, until public comment, to, to address this, because I have a concern about what you just approved. Um, would you care for me to speak now? Or sure, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, no. um, my concern is that the town approved your request the board's request to increase the budget by $5,000 to have the CPA firm come to, into town and review the town's financial affairs, including all the processes that take place. And this is a new process that is um, being undertaken, and the CPAs haven't even started yet. Um, they, the, your initial meeting, evidently, is going to be tomorrow. Um, so, you know, I, I have some concerns about Mary Lou's proposal, but it's to you, um, just expressing the concern that I have about it. I guess the other concern is that you, according to statute, um, RSA 32.8, you can't, the Board of Selectmen 
shall pay for any purpose shall, excuse me, no board of selectmen shall pay for any purpose for which an appropriation has not been made. That's paraphrasing it. Um, and since there was no appropriation through town meeting for a new employee, I think it's inappropriate that through the treasurer's request that this position be supported um, by the town. Um, and I know at the last meeting, Mary Lou had said something to the effect that the cost of the new employee would be out of her budget. Um, is, is that how this person is to be funded? Yes. So Mary Lou doesn't have a budget. Mary Lou has a stipend as the treasurer. And the treasurer's department, if you will. There's well, a treasurer expense. There's, oh. a, there's a treasurer expense line in the budget. Yes, but the voters voted that that was for the treasurer. Did they not? They did not. We didn't go into that discussion. They authorized them. They, we didn't discuss the treasurer at all at the town meeting. They authorized the general expenditure at the bottom of the warrant. No, year before last, you, at, you folks asked for an increase for her pay for the treasurer. Yes. Yes. The treasurer. Yes. Her expenses do not come out of that. That's what she's paid as yes. a stipend. Okay. Not for an additional employee. So I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm really concerned about um, the process here seems to be uh, not adhering to, well, <laughs> it's, it, there is no problem. It doesn't appear to be adhering to the RSA because you've just agreed for funding um, a position that was not approved by town meeting at town meeting, um, and, and uh, I just, I, I'm, I'm really concerned that this is not appropriate. Okay. Thank you. Uh, tax collector, Diana, do you have anything for us tonight? Yes, I do. I have quite a bit for you tonight. Pardon? I have quite a bit tonight. Okay. Um, I have... As you know, this time of year, we get down to um, properties that need to be heated. Mm -hmm. uh, but for each of you, um, an invoice of the um, of the properties for 2014 property taxes that have not been paid. Um, we need to at some time, we need to discuss these, these properties. If you want to do it now, we can. If you want to wait until later, it's up to you. Um. I, chat, I chatted with the attorney about properties that we're considering deeding. Yes. And the feedback that I had was, even though it's, it's more than we have to do, we should really make sure that we've notified all the appropriate people and any heirs. Not so much to impact the deeding process, but when we put them up for sale, <coughs> people may not be able to get title insurance if we didn't go through the process I think, thoroughly. I think what, um, can we refer to these different properties by the tax maps and law? Sure. I don't feel Sure, there's only two we're talking about, right? There are. The, well, first, have, the first one we've been agreement with, they're making payments. That's right. So they're, they're um, okay. After that, the next one on your, your list there, I think we have them all the same. Yep. I have, um, Sent a letter certified mail to the wife in this case who does not live on the premises. Yep. Um, I haven't had anything back. However, I did get a phone call this morning 
and those taxes will be paid on Friday. Excellent. Okay. For for that property. For for. Um... Tax map eighteen twenty one C. Yep. Excellent. Um, okay. Good. So that one's off the table then. The uh, the next one. Um, Lot 28, lot 15, have heard nothing from it, assume yep. that they are going to be paid. Yep. Um, the last one is the one you were discussing, um, where the owner has passed away and the, co the relative has also passed away. I have been in contact with them down in Massachusetts where there is another piece of property owned uh, in the same exact situation right now. I did have um, Nancy D, our abstractor, um, check all of these out. There's no change on any of them. Um, she also did check with New Hampshire probate and went further and checked with Massachusetts probate. There is nothing in either probate court on that piece of property. Yeah. That's the extent of it. And we understand there's a cousin or a relative. We did hear, probably just through the grapevine down in Massachusetts, that there is a cousin. Now, we have nothing that, that um, Nancy could find that would connect her in any way to the property. I do have a letter I have written. I have not sent it because I wanted to wait until we took care of, of this other business to see if there was anything in probate pending. <clears throat> I don't know what you do in that situation. And as Nancy said, I guess we got to get the attorney involved, which you already have. And he suggested we send a note to her. We send a note to the cousin. I have a letter for to send to her. You can approve it if you wish. Just. Uh, Notifying her that, um, well, I've kept it pretty generic because I don't. We really know. don't even know if she's a cousin. We don't know anything. We don't know anything. We really and truly don't. Um, I have a copy of the letter I will give you to read. I think, I think that's probably the better way of doing it, not sending her like a deeding notice or something <coughs> like that. Um, if you want to read it, and then see if, if you want me to send it, and I will definitely do that. We have not read for your, just for your general information. I hate it that you take over. We get a new selectman just at the time that we're doing this. You know, it's kind of. Okay. Um, we have never, or not for many, many, many years, done, taken any piece of property in town that had a home on it. However, in this particular case, the owner of the home passed away and her only relative that we know for sure was a son, he also passed away. So basically we have a house here in town that um, it's time for it to go for deeding. And I think we want to do due diligence. It's a nice house, but it's been sitting alone there for two years, summer and winter. <coughs> so we don't know what condition it's even like inside. <coughs> okay, we'll Is that okay? okay? We're okay with that. Okay. Thank you. It's good that we're taking the effort to contact somebody. I want to know what's happening. Okay, so I just and please save a obviously save a copy I of will that have a copy. because yeah. that, that the lawyer was sensitive to that. We just want to paper the file as much as we can. Um, the other properties are due to be deeded on the 18th. 
Um, I will give you now for your signature at least the um, the two Stone of Road properties because um, we need a deed waiver signed on those as long as they're making payments, which in fact they are. So. Um, If, if you want to, well, come on, I know I've got it. Sheesh. So I need a deed waiver for, for those two pieces of property. Um, I have deed waivers made out for all the rest of them. If you, um, today's what, the 14th? Yeah. Today's the 11th. 11th. Tell them I've been in bed for a couple of days, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to sign a deed waiver for this other property that we were just discussing, you probably do. Until we get it straightened out. I think we should keep the key down the road. I would do them all for two weeks. Because <coughs> one's going to be paid, we hear. We, yeah, we know the one's going to be paid from up, up here. We know Stoneham, we still got to work out. Um, the other one, the, the other two Stoneham's we know are making payments. And the other one, history said, will get paid up. Yes, so I say we just, we, we take them up. We're going to wait two weeks. You're going to do a deed waiver on all three of them, uh, all, all of four. them then? All four? One, two, three, four, however many we have. Okay. And tell us why. Tell us why we're doing deed waivers. To cover me, so that I don't deed them. If I don't, everything is time sensitive in tax collecting. Two years and a day after property goes to lien, then it must be deeded to the town through a tax collector's deed. If for some reason the selectmen decide they you know, have a reason to not take them at that time, then a deed waiver is signed and put in the file, just it's covering me that I am doing my job right. and the properties are not going to be deeded. So we, what we've done in the past, we put deed waivers in for two months, for three months, to let things, things sort out. Right. Uh, the first two, <clears throat> they're okay to sign because we've got an agreement and people are living up the agreement. And we can <coughs> really get clear on that, but like to know the specifics of that. That's a contract we have for those individuals. The other, the other ones you know about. It has to be, you know, a, a, a reason, a reasonable reason. Um, I think probably you're figuring with, the, with the, the last piece of property just to keep them all the same instead of deeding one and then not deeding the rest of them. The other reason that a selectman can refuse to take a deed is if it's anything that is going to cost the town a great deal of money. In other words, something that's a hazardous waste facility, um, <coughs> anything that there, there is a reason um, to not take it for hazardous waste, and one of the pieces of property, if I had not heard that the payment was going to be made, I would have almost thought maybe we should do a waiver for a little while for that very reason. You know, we don't have a clue what's in that, what's in that facility. But I do believe that that will be paid on Friday. That's what I've been told. So, That's good. I think we're doing due diligence just as much as we can. Um, I will send that letter off. Maybe we'll hear something back. Maybe we won't. But that's the one that was going to be paid for. Hmm? Well, yeah, but I said that other one that I will send that letter off oh. to them, you know. Yep, and yep, yep, yep. We are not sure. So I will give you all of these. Three of you to sign. And we're going to. Hmm? The one that you're going to send the letter off on. 
Yeah. How long do you think we should wait? Two months? I wouldn't wait that long. The letter will go out tomorrow. Um, I give it 30 days. Yeah. Okay. 30 days is sufficient. Okay. So, Richard doesn't see me, so what do we got? This would be open ended. Yeah. So we'll say until deed waiver until a certain date. Okay, so we'll add that in. Yeah, we'll say until 30 days. Yeah, 30 days is <coughs> May, May 31. Okay. Okay. And hopefully it's clear by then. Assuming, I'd be very surprised if that doesn't end up being the only one that we have to deal with. Yes. Okay, this is. And the other where were the contractors, we're just going to wait because we have a contract with these people. Right. So we'll wait these without an expiration date. Would you like copies of those deed waivers made also for your file, or do you want to just let me keep the file for them? Please keep them for us. I am. <coughs> Anything. Just a couple things. One, I sent the blurb out to gather information for the June newsletter. Um, and secondly, we had talked about maybe upgrading the website. So I contacted Virtual Town Hall, and they do have someone that can come out and talk to us about the advantages of doing that. Um, some background, some history. We, we did some feedback. Um, that it wasn't clear, we had feedback in the town meeting that it wasn't clear that we had postponed the town meeting, even though we attempted to put that on the website. <coughs> it was on the website, but it wasn't obvious. Um, yes. You, yes, there's another piece of feedback, yes. So we subsequently looked at what other towns have for their website, and, and they're using the next version of the web tool. And what that provides is right in the center of the page an opportunity to put messages that are very important, like the town meeting's been rescheduled, like uh, town's closed because of whatever. Uh -huh. um, so we thought it would be good to get smart, see what this new software has, how much it's going to cost us, yes, it costs us and, 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 and see if we, if we want to go forward with it. Um, the version that we're on today is still supported. I think it's still supported. Yes. Uh, but towns are migrating to the, to the new version. It's been out a couple of three years now, I think. So if they'll come up and give us an overview of why we want to switch and why uh, it would help us and the residents, we'd like to hear that, I think. Okay. He's available on Ooh. May 9th. Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first man. 
בעיניי זה באמת לא... אוקיי? Yeah. How about, can you do the 23rd? The first meeting in the month usually is a little busier. Right. So, yeah, we bumped into the night. See if we can get on the 23rd. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Anything else? How much time would you want him to allow? Half hour? No more. That's right. No more. Okay. okay. I'll follow up with him tomorrow. Thank you. I think that was it for me. Okay, planning board in. You have anything? Nothing new, but the next planning board meeting is April 20th, 6.30 p.m. Okay. I have nothing other than I, I think I'm all done plowing. <laughs> I hope I'm all done plowing. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'll be taking the uh, plow gear off the grader and hopefully, if the weather stays nice, start doing some grading next week. What, what, what does grading mean? Grading the dirt roads, okay. the potholes, and there's still some frost in generally the shady area where there's the potholes has still got some frost in okay. So I'm hoping it doesn't look like there's any below freezing temperatures at least for the next week. So I checked a few roads today that you know I could do some patch grading, but I may just go out with a rake and try to lessen the, the ruts and potholes, but there's still some frost there. Okay, so, so my two comments or questions are, what do we have to do to get moving on the Moose Mountain Bridge, that contract, Okay. and Price Drive? Are we ready to move on Price Drive? What do we have to do on Price? Well, we wanted to remeasure it, right? We wanted to make sure that we have all of our measurements done. Yeah, so last fall, before the snow, you asked me to find all the original markers, and I, I did, and I painted them again, and that, as far as what you told me, that was where we stopped. What you want to do at this point, <coughs> you know, there's still a little bit of snow over there, but we should, um, I think we should remark it and make a determination on what you're going to do. Maybe. That's what I wanted to do because there's some questions on where we're hitting the right markers and this and that, there's, and I want to be yeah. certain. Yeah. So maybe we get yeah. back out there and find all those p- the markers as we can, yep. get the measurements and then really paint it and mark it. Paint it up good? Yeah, sure. So, can I propose that we meet, if the three of us, we go over there looking at the road, say at 10.30 on the, when's the breakfast? The 22nd? 22nd. Given we're here for breakfast. <coughs> the breakfast, go down take a look. Yeah. Okay. Walk it off. Yeah. 10.30? Walk down the rice road. <laughs> No, we're not going to walk down it. <laughs> Drive so, up, we'll walk down Bryce Road. <coughs> we'll walk down Bryce Road. So would you post that 1030 on the 22nd? After the breakfast, we're going to shoot down to Bryce Road. <coughs> Bryce Drive. We'll be there. Three of us. And Ed. And the public. If anybody wants to show. Okay. It's a public meeting. Right. And the contract. What do we have to do on the... So we pretty much, I'll just tell them if, if you're happy with those numbers. Tell, think, us, tell us again, so I know what they're Well, I, I was, I'm not prepared, but I, I can, at the next meeting, I can have it all for you. I, I want to, I hate speculating, but I, I think it was 26. It was less than 30. Yeah, or 26.5 or something like that for the engineering, including the top, the new deck. So um, I will actually got a call from him the other day. I don't remember what day it was. He left a message, wanted to know where we were at. So I have to touch base with him anyways. Okay. And I'll have that all up- updated information and, by the next meeting. And on this project, we had three people giving us proposals. Yeah. And, and they all want, they, none of them wanted to do the repair. They wanted to do when I specifically asked them to come look at the repairs needed, they all proposed brand new bridges, and I think the highest one was pretty close to half a million dollars. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the cheapest one was like 300000 Yeah, And we're going with repair, and it's going to have engineering stamps on it, because the yeah. engineer's going to certify that the work yeah. is up to spec yeah. for a lot of us. 
So it's specifically just the bridge, or is there going to be any alterations to the road to? Uh, well, there will sure be alterations to the road. Um, there'll be some temporary alterations, and then be, the permanent ones will be. I, I believe the bridge is going to go back down in elevation because of, they kept pouring over the original. I mean that deck I th think is three and a half feet thick, and by putting a new deck on it, um, it'll drop it some. I don't know exactly, you know, that'll be their engineering. They'll go out and do specific engineering to that. Yep. But on the, um, I guess you would call it the southeast corner, that'll get wider. That's, that, that end of the bridge is three feet narrower, and one of the reasons for putting a new deck on is to make it literally passable with two cars at once, right. like it should be. Right. So there'll be some effect in that area there. Um, conservation. Tom, you have anything? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I can get up. You can do it. I request for a couple appointments to the Conservation Commission. People who would like to serve. Okay, from the Conservation Commission, we are requesting that the Board of Selectmen appoint Bob Nielsen as a commissioner and Frank Frazier as an alternate commissioner to the Conservation Commission of the Town of Brookfield to be effective immediately with a term of three years to run until 2020. Motion. Motion to uh, appoint. The same motion. All favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Well done. Thank you. This Oh, thank you. And also on here, I've got a list of the suggestions that the Conservation Commission submitted to the Board of Selectmen last year about some basic rules for the town preserve. And as we're working on building a kiosk for the one entrance to it, we would like to post, we think the town should post some basic rules so that people don't abuse it by having campfires at night and a few other things that shouldn't happen. So sometime we would like the Board of Selectmen to look at it again and possibly come up with something else. And right now, people go in there, they can set up housekeeping. There's, there's no rules against it. And I would like to see at least in terms of the daytime use and eliminate some of the, the things that are on that list. Some, some background. This is the second request last time we came up was six months ago. Yeah, at least, right. And the board decided that at this point we didn't want to put any restrictions on it, just keep it the way it is today. Right. So now they're bringing us here, asking us to think think about this. So we'll. Okay. Would you put it on the agenda for two weeks? Think about if we should have any <coughs> any restrictions like no ATVs. Like, I'm making stuff up now, you know. Um, so, think about it, we'll talk about it in two weeks. Anything else, Tom? The third thing is on uh, the morning of the Selectman's breakfast is also going to be our town roadside cleanup day. And we will have a vehicle here at the townhouse for people to bring the trash if they don't want to take it to the dump themselves. And they also can bring as Ed was mentioning, the TV he found alongside the road that you normally would have to pay to get rid of at the transfer station. Because it's for the town of Brookfield, we're getting a letter so that we'll be able to leave that stuff off without costing anybody any money. We hope. We hope. But if, but if, uh, we hope, but if they, if, if we have to pay the town, we should pay that bill. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll work it out somewhere. So in the past, what's happened is like, I've gone over to see the administrative assistant and they cut a letter saying that on this weekend, the town of Brookfield, I, is, it, is it going to be your vehicle, Tom? Yeah, it'll be my, my truck. So what we'll do is we'll get a letter authorizing Tom to make deliveries 
delivers to the dump on that weekend. I'll take it over Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. So I'll see, not Teresa, I don't know who the new person is. There's a new person over yonder, I'll take over. Yeah, get her name. Okay. Thank you, anything else? Yep, that's it. Okay. <coughs> Heritage Commission, we were supposed to meet tomorrow, but they have postponed the meeting uh, to Mary Lou not And then we have cemetery trustees. You got a meeting coming on that, don't you, Tom? Cemetery trustees? Thursday at uh, 7 o'clock in the schoolhouse for the cemetery trustees. Somebody's using this. I think the trust fund is going to be in here. Yeah. Trustees of the trust fund. Okay, any other board or committees? Before we go on to old business, I want to go back to this uh, forestry issue. So we're going to meet, make sure we're together, we're going to meet at 6 o'clock in two weeks for the purpose of having a review of the forestry purchase and, and plan. Okay. We'll have to somehow get that news out. It's not a meeting, it's going to be a uh, presentation. Okay. Okay. Update on the auditing firm. Uh, they're coming in tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock to kick this off. The plan is to meet with the board briefly and then start the process with the tax collector to go over there. Their process. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Private Road, we had a, we had a letter. <coughs> Yeah, well, I had a letter. And I got that. Yep, yeah, and Rick. Uh, the, um, the request to change the, pri the name of a private road, I went over that with the attorney, and she said, if it's a private road, as long as that all the residents are in agreement, they can change the name. What will have to be done once the name is changed is there is, we have a form of all the agencies 911 related that would need to know that the change of the name has occurred. <coughs> and the residents can <coughs> pay for and pay to post a new street sign. It's going to be me, Dam Road is going to Kate's Lane, C-A-T-E. We'll see if there possibly holds S Lane. And the history behind that is Kate's used to own all that property down there 150 years ago. So that's the to tie back to, to Kate's. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the the form for a notification is somewhere here. Yes, there, Ed's got one for 911. <coughs> and they'll take care of it all. They'll notify all the agencies. There was a, there was a, a folder in our file from Bob Russo's term where there must have been nine letters that were issued by the board. Mm -hmm. To various agencies. Mm -hmm. That was probably at the beginning stages of implementing the 911 in this area, but now the new form just, you just fill out the new form, you change it, you check off the appropriate box, send it in, and they will notify everybody. Okay, I want to, I think you get a copy of that. Sure. There's some other people that would like to be notified, like UPS. Well, FedEx. I think that's up to the individual. So that I'd like to get a copy of the board, right? Yep. You want Google Maps now? Yeah, we, we talked about that earlier. We had to do that. Would, would that form come, would they check Google to make sure that's not a duplicate or very similar to another road that would be in the area? Um, Could be in the area. I don't know if they do that or not. I think, you know, they, when we've, we've had, um, I think, and all the time that I've been doing it, I think we've only had one name change. And I, it was a simple change. And we just changed it, filled out the paperwork, and sent it in, and everything's been good. Never heard another word. So. I think it's up to us, the board, to make sure there's no conflicts with 911. Right. And I think there's no other Kate's Lanes. Right. Okay. Um, but I think that was the that's, board's responsibility. That's good. There's very few streets around here, but I just want to that's, throw that out. That's because fine. I lived in an area where that happened before. Well, we have to um, actually be sort of cognizant of the fact that Wakefield might have a, 
a name that's the same too because we have the same zip code right. as Wakefield. Because I know there was at one time there was a Palmer, a Palmer Drive in Wakefield as well as the Palmer Drive where I live. And there was a mix up then. They changed the one in Wakefield. San Juan Road is also a common name between the two towns. Yeah. I'm sorry, say that differently. San Juan Road exists in both Brookfield and Wakefield. Their San Juan Road is out East Wakefield. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, breakfast, roadside cleanup, we briefly talked about it. 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. New menu this year? Pancakes, sausages, um, coffee, juice. <coughs> Fresh maple syrup. <coughs> What's the new part? We used to do um, French toast. We're going to pancakes, it's just easier. Perhaps, but the, the chef says it's easier. It's easier. Um, we talked about deeded properties. We did the boards. Okay, uh, under new business, the last item. There's been some discussion in town about getting a handle on, at least understanding is what I mean by getting a handle on, what we pay for services. All services. We had a discussion at the town meeting about Wakefield but we also have Wolfboro Rec, we've got the school board. Um, are they the three big three ones? Yeah, county, but. No, the counties. County is what it is. That's right. So, there was a proposal slash recommendation that we form a committee to at least this year become knowledgeable, understand what these, what these relationships <coughs> look like, and decide how we want to deal with that. So I'd like to suggest that we form that committee. Um, and along those lines, I have one person in town volunteer ready to be on the committee. Um, but do we want to form that committee? Let's, let's go back to that. Do we want to do that? Do we want to understand these various contracts or relationships that we have? We may not have a contract. It might be just a relationship. Seems to me it doesn't hurt to understand these. I, I think it's time to look at it. Yeah. In fact, we don't know if we have a contract or relationship. Mm -hmm. it speaks volumes. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. We we've got to understand what's going on here. Um, do we set a date to kick something off? I mean, well, I would. I'd like to do is form the committee. Let the committee take it and run. Uh, I'm going to tell you who <coughs> volunteered because I got permission to use his name. Rob Collins wants to be on. Okay. He said I could use his name, he'd be interested in participating. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if there's anyone else that'd be interested to, in participating on that. Um, I would. Okay, excellent. You're going to be the selectman's rep then. Okay, and we should get one more person if we can. Um, oh, we got another volunteer. Thank you, Diane. So there's three. And let's see what we can find out and what we can understand about these relationships. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, based on past history, I strongly recommend that be a selectman to converse with the town of Wakefield as to what our arrangements is with them. Okay, thank you. Historically, there have been thank other you. conversations that haven't bode well for the town. Thank you. We, we understand that. Uh, we, we don't expect the committee to take any action on these relationships just to define what they are. Right, but I'm saying the definition from Wakefield should be headed by one of the slide. Great. That's all. Okay, so if we have three people, you're going to be the select one's rep. And, um, okay. Sounds good. And you, you've got that. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Do you have a name for this committee? That will be one of the first jobs. Who's going to arrange the first meeting? Probably me. When are we going to meet? <laughs> <laughs> Let me chew on it. Very soon. Okay, Rick's got Rick's got a fresh. I'm going to call Diane and 
Rob. Great, that's good. That's very good. Thank you. Um, anything else? Have we heard about our roofing? No. Okay. Sorry. We have, Gary has the proposal. Okay. I haven't gotten from Gary. Uh, I just want to get on the list, you know. We, uh, we don't want to be, don't want to be they, December they, or anything. Yeah. They came out, they looked at it, they wrote it up. I, I asked, <coughs> I've got to go bring it. Okay. Go bring it. All right. Good. Anything else? Any other public comments? Okay, we're going to sign some. Let's take a look at our invoices. <coughs> let's see what we have <coughs> Wasn't there a month stack? Or did Mary took them? She took the checks. So who was the one that had the list on top? That's mail. I don't know. This is an invoice. Got a poll license request. Oh yeah. At last, a poll license. Request for one they put in a year ago? <laughs> Sorry. We should say. <laughs> so we have to decide whether we're gonna approve this. We'll put one in today. Where? Well on that. Not state road now. Well, still in our town. Still in town. Yeah, but I thought the state would give the permits on that, wouldn't they? I don't, I don't know. I we don't think we've land. ever... Re well, that's not true. I think we have received permits from uh, license applications from s ones on the state road. But I'm not sure. We should. But we can't tax them. Yeah, we can. Why not? I don't go into that space. Don't go into that space. We'll go into that space. So what do we want to do with this poll license? This is for the one across the street from you folks, down there at Moose Mountain Road, that's in the culvert. Oh, okay. The new one, that's in. Oh, the one that, the new construction? Yeah, across from Craig Evans. Yeah. yeah. Put the pole right in the ditch. Oh, sorry. This is cool. Is that tree still on the ditch? Um, the stump is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I hear that's where the, the driveway for that property is going to go, so that stump will be coming up. Oh, right. That's why the tree was cut down. Would you like me to just call the the gentleman who the engineer and discuss it? I, I think they should move it. That's what you've said before. Um, why don't you do? Please do that. I mean, we could just reject it and send it back, but that may not be the best way to proceed. Right. If we're starting to develop some sort of communications, right, right, it might be good to talk to him first. Mm -hmm. His contact information is on here, mm -hmm. so you've got that. I got, I got a program in the phone. But you here's here's the whole. App I want to give you. No, you, you don't want it. I don't want that. I know. That. All right. All, and I know where the pole is. All right. So we've got some bills for Morton Salt, eighteen hundred ninety-nine dollars. Somebody's pole press is going on. Yeah. All those trees are dying. <laughs> we've got a bill for one hundred eighty-seven dollars and fifty cents for uh, mat maintenance. He's going to post the door tax cash. We've got a bill for $4,750. No. For $4,750 from 10 construction for plowing and sanding roads. We've got a bill from the lawyer for $705 uh, for a meeting we had. No, I'm sorry. Was your balance for it? No. It was. It was small. It's going to be down the bottom. So you don't have to look past the dates, the current. So we can carry that balance. 
plus the mileage that comes with the 906 when I had it. All right, well, this invoice is for 906. The new charges are $748, three, three hours worth of consultation face time, and then two phone calls about town meeting. Can we reschedule it? <laughs> they were $40 a shot. Uh, this is Sam and Press, I believe. This is Supervisor the Checklist. $46. This is a warrant order we'll to move money to the Conservation Commission of $500. This is a warrant article to send $500 to the Heritage Fund. This is a statement from Carroll County Registry of Deeds. Only two dollars. We're not supposed to be have any. Twenty-two dollars. Two dollars. Town of Wakefield, seventy thousand dollars and change. That's for Q one of our services. No, they do it twice a year. Three times. Four times. Four times. And fair point. Eighty two dollars and forty two dollars. One's internet and one's our phone system. Did you say seven thousand or seventy thousand? Seventy zero. Seventy zero. For Wakefield. Seventy thousand. Seventy thousand yes. okay. about two hundred right. about two hundred and eighty or three hundred thousand. I think you said seven thousand and it wasn't. No, no, no. We got a hell of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need the committee after all. <laughs> Pay it fast. Okay, follow this. All right, I'll make a motion that we pay the bills in, in initial tonight. I say a motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 There goes to Mary Lou. You go to Mary Lou, too. There you go to Mary Lou, also. You're right. Thank you. And the only other mail we have tonight are some. Bank statements that we should just take a look at. No, so I'm good with them. All right. And I looked at them before. Yeah, we'll check them before. Hmm? We just have to initial. Okay. Anything else? All right, meetings adjourned. Thank you, folks.